Paige, your choices are so elegant and, and perfect. I agree. It's exactly how I pictured our wedding. You both have impeccable taste. Honestly, one look inside the Harrington Rue Hotel told me everything I needed to know. It's, it's a gorgeous venue. Yeah, we've, uh, we've known the Harringtons forever. And by we, he means his family, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James is in love with that vintage gown you're wearing, Amber. He restored it to perfection. He's never spent so much time on a gown. It was my, uh, my great-grandmother's. It's gorgeous. Ah, uh, well, I hate to keep you both in suspense, but my next appointment is here, so. Oh, he is so excited. We both are. We can't wait to meet you all in person. We'll be up at Harbridge tomorrow. Great. We'll see you then. See ya. Love them. I feel really good about this one. Hmm. We're gonna knock it out of the ballpark and then we'll be in with a whole new crowd of potential clients. Hashtag Paige loves an upscale wedding. I, an investment banker and a corporate lawyer and the ultimate traditional black tie wedding. We've planned it down to a T. There's literally nothing that can go wrong. Why would you put that jinx out into the universe? Hey, Dad, how's it going? Yes, yes, of course. But today? No, of course we have room. Yes, I'll tell James and Hannah. Yes, we can have a family dinner. Great, well, I'll see you later. Bye. Dad is coming. Hooray! Oh, stop with the sarcastic jazz hands. I miss him more than ever now that Mom's gone. It'll be nice to see him in person and not just, you know, Smart. Oh, for love, oh, for us, we'll get through this. You always knew that the way would be oh, for love and love for all. Hi, are you ready? <sighs> to us. To us. And our big day. I am so lucky to be marrying you. It's so close. I feel like I should be doing more. No, that's why we wedding planners. They take the stress off brides who work 60-hour weeks. I know. It's gonna be so beautiful. <laughs> Paige has thought of everything. And I definitely love that we're doing it in Harbridge. It feels more... Home. Sophisticated. Have. We were talking last night and. And it begins. William, he's my cousin. And not to mention my best friend in Spring Hill. Oh, no, he's, uh, he's important to you and you value his opinion. Yeah, like you value your mother's. <laughs> <laughs> he was just reminding me how we used to hide out near the local church and watch the weddings on Saturdays, dreaming of our own weddings. You never mentioned that. No, I guess I didn't. There was this one bride. And she had long flowing hair. She had wildflowers in it. They looked so pretty. I wanted that for my wedding. You would look stunning in any hairstyle. I think what I'm trying to say, William, is not much of our wedding feels like my childhood dreams. Nav's right. It will be dreamy, okay, I promise. Nav just doesn't like me. Oh. I mean, you remember our engagement party? He made that crack that my mother had booked the wedding before we even met. I kind of think she might have. No, no, no. There might have been a, a tentative hold on the venue, but... <laughs> I mean, that's normal for my family. We do weddings well. It just... It feels more like your mother's wedding than ours. You'll feel better when your mom and dad arrive. Okay? Having family around makes all the difference. You're right. I think I'm just missing them. I love you. I love you, too. Good. Because Nav's coming to help next week. And we'll have a lot of creative ideas. He designed and made my high school prom dress, you know. Great. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, all my little girls. Look what Grandpa bought. Present! You're the yeah. best. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Dan, how are you? See you. Hey. It's been too long. I know. Hey. Cool headphones, yes. You really shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, these are too expensive even for most adults. Oh, I had to bring a little L.A. with me. Hannah Banana. There she is. It's so good to see you. You look wonderful. You too. Jimmy Jr. Just James. James. Hey. Well, it's great to see all my kids. You know what to do with them, right? They go in your ears. <laughs> Did we say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. This looks fantastic, Paige. Mm. Where did you learn to become such a good cook? Oh, I did not. Dan is the one who cooks around here. <laughs> it's delicious, honey. Thank you. But actually, Gab and Soph picked it out of a cookbook themselves. Mm. Well, kudos to you, Dan. Mm. My daughter sure knows how to pick them. <laughs> and what about you, little Miss Banana? Me? What about me? Well, is there anybody I should know about? Yeah, Hannah Banana. Anyone special we should know about? A little high-pitched voice. I think we hit a nerve. <laughs> Must be special indeed. Actually, he catered Mark Greet's uh, funeral. <clears throat> it was, uh, it was a, a tough day, but he helped us out there. Miss Mom. So do I. She was the best mom and grandmom I've ever created. And I want everyone at this table to know how deeply sorry I am that I couldn't make the funeral. And that I couldn't be here for all of you. It's okay, Dad. It's okay. It's fine. Would one of the writers on the show come up with that? Sorry. So how's the wedding business? Um, we have an amazing wedding coming up at the Harrington. Ooh, that is posh. Very posh. Mm -hmm. Oh, you would know, Dad. What's the wife count up to now? Not as many as my character in the show. <laughs> It's Jenna, and she wants me to say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi. How are things going with her? Well, actually, there may be a new Mrs. Clarkson sooner rather than later. A three-peat? Well, now I have to get through my contract renegotiations to afford that rock she wants, so we'll play by her. She's calling. Hey, Jenna Bug. All good. I told them all about it. anything that's more interesting to him than his children. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Amber! Look at you! You're finally here! Oh, hey. Look at you. You look so sophisticated and gray. Is William buying all your clothes now? Yeah. Uh, how are you? I'm well, and you, William? <laughs> I've heard so many great things about you, Nav. Welcome to Clarkson Wedding Essentials. This place is beyond adorable, and you are beyond adorable! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> James Clarkson from America's Next Fashionista. That's me. Nice shirt. James Clarkson from America's Next Fashionista just complimented my outfit. Are you gonna narrate the entire conversation? I bet 50 bucks you'd win that first challenge. My friends, they thought you were a long shot, but I knew you had serious couture talent. I like this guy. Where have you been hiding him? Nav is my cousin. He's here to help us with the final touches. Oh, well, we'll take all the help we can get. Are you joining us at the dress fitting? Try and stop him. <laughs> I, I love it all, Paige. You're an absolute yeah. genius. Well, it's easy when people know what they want. What? What's wrong? Nothing, unless you're the queen of bloody England. Where's the Amber Sasson here? You, you do realize she's from a small town called Spring Hill, right? Well, I haven't lived there in a long time, Nav, and I really like the simplicity of this style. You mean monochrome? They're very distinct shades of pale pink. Yeah, the understated color palette is meant to allow the bride and groom to pop. Oh, 
Really? Uh, and how did understated work for you in the resort wear challenge? Don't worry, cousin. I'm gonna help you fix this. <laughs> It's just not you. It's been her for the past seven months. Remember when I did your prom dress? We added some flair, some personality. I know, Nav, but this is William's family's dress. I don't want to alter it too much. It's tradition. I hope that's not a metaphor for your life. What does that mean? I mean, where's my cousin hiding? Where's your individuality in all this? You know, I hear you. And usually I am the first to customize, but in this case, it is an impeccable vintage gown that, I mean, speaks for itself. I do love the way I look in it. Of course, you look gorgeous, but Amber, let me ask you, bottom line, do you feel a personal connection to this dress? Is this really reflective of who you are? I like it, actually. It's elegant, and it's kind of my style. All I'm saying is maybe you should try on some other dresses. The wedding is Saturday. You're a miracle worker, right? Or is that just on television? So this is Babe Panini. It's nice. The coffee's incredible. Dad. Ah, Christopher. This is my dad, Jimmy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Christopher. Anna says you're a culinary genius. <laughs> I try my best. You own this cafe? I do, yeah. For better or for worse, it's, uh, it's mine. Very um, nice. Hi. You're... Drake Drescher. Well, I'm Jimmy Clarkson, actually, but I know Drake. Hell of a guy. I watch your show every day. Can we take a selfie? Uh, just go deal with this. I don't think I've ever had a celebrity at Babe and Eve before. Mm. It's kind of exciting. Oh, and he's signing her pastry box. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little weird. <laughs> Hands everywhere, Dad. Well, what's a man to do, huh? So, you two are adorable. Oh, no, no, we're not. We, we've never even been on a date. But we could check our calendars. Oh? Young love. Isn't it the best? Stop. You're welcome. I have something to show you. This is your something blue. Oh, it's even more stunning in person. Totally worth the wait. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's stunning. Yeah. But it's not as stunning as you. You are the most beautiful woman in the world. You're doing again. Mom, Dad. Oh, I miss you so much. You are a sight for sore eyes. Oh, honey, I can't believe it's almost your big day. Good to see you, son. Welcome, Hank. Violet. William. Oh, my baby girl is getting married. Oh, my little shining star. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, sweetheart. Before I even unpack, I've got something for you from Grandma. How's she doing? Well. Mad as anything, she's missing the wedding. Oh, is this what I think it is? Yep, it's the one she's always talking about. The one in the picture on the mantle. It's from the 1850s, if you can believe that. <laughs> oh, and I should get a good picture of you walking down the aisle. Oh, we have professional photographers, Mom. You're fine. <laughs> uh, what about um, my grandmother's necklace? Oh, oh, William, how can I not wear this? <laughs> because I promised my mother. Well, I'm already wearing her, her rings and her dress. Exactly, it's a matching set, so. Uh, drink? Drink, yeah. We're in a cup drink. High school Amber was a wild cat, I can tell you that. I mean, what'd you do with that fun girl? <laughs> I can be fun. Oh, I'm sure you're up in all the clubs. Christopher, perfect timing. Let's uh, taste the cake. It's delicious. It's exactly what we discussed. I love it. Good. I love the little rosettes. Well, it's a classic cake for a classic mm -hmm. couple. So. Now, what's the theme for the groom's cake? Uh, we didn't discuss a groom's cake. Mm -hmm. Well, that could be fun. Maybe Nav, you could help plan it. Let me see. What would your cake theme be? Oh, 
let me guess, a little penguin with a teeny little bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have to be here? You know, as fun as this visit's been, does anybody know when Dad's heading home to his Jenna bug? Give him a break, James. I think it's been really fun having Dad here. Yeah, until he shows up on your date with Christopher. <laughs> he didn't say that, did he? No. Okay. <laughs> well, Dad has been amazing with the girls, and I think he's really trying to be here for us. James, you may not know this, but Dad's old mom passed away when he was your age. No, I did not know that. Don't think he doesn't know what we're going through. I, for one, will let him know that he can come here whenever he wants and stay for however long he likes. Here, here. Oh. I'm going to referee the city mice and the country mice getting together for the first time this afternoon. Speaking of rodents, will Nab be there? Ah, very funny. You guys want to come? Well, I'd rather watch another family's dysfunction than our own, so count me in. Yeah, I'm all caught up on Housewives, so it sounds great. Great. It is so good to meet you, Hank. And I want to say I like country music. Well, I'm not a musician, but I do love working with them. Oh, yeah. Amber did say that you, what, manage artists? Violet. When did your flight get in? Oh, no, no, we drove. I'm not keen on the air and planes. My eyes dry out before you know it. My mascara's running like the Blue Stone River. <laughs> Quite right. Polar opposite. Yeah, but civilized. Sure. Mm -hmm. Hi. Sandwiches? This tiny thing a sandwich? <laughs> Should have brought my magnifying glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bill. You like country music? What band did you book for the kids' wedding? Mm. Oh, they went classical. I objected, uh, but tradition. Oh, no. So there's not going to be any dancing? Oh, <laughs> people have been dancing to classical music for hundreds of years now, Violet. Well, on the bright side, at least nobody will throw at a hip, like uh, Herb Millie and Ronnie's <laughs> <All> wedding. <right. laughs> when the... We <laughs> have chosen the most beautiful waltzes. Oh. Did she just say waltzes? Well, I'm looking forward to wearing a tux and showing off my boots that I got made for it. Ah, oh, he had some specially designed. They're just beautiful. Cowboy boots. That's why Hank one knows that one only wears black patent leather Oxfords with a tux. <laughs> Billy, one could wear black patent Oxfords. I, however, will be wearing charcoal gray ostrich skin. Boots. I'm sure you'll both look very dapper. I agree, you'll look great. Violet, did you adhere to our wardrobe vision? Whose wardrobe vision? More like a wardrobe hallucination, if you ask me. William and Amber wanted you and I to wear full-length gowns in neutral tones. Yeah, no, no, I, neutrals just don't feel like me. Don't feel like you. Here, I took some pictures at the fitting. There you go. But uh, we were supposed to coordinate. Oh, well, we did coordinate. Hank and I are dressed in the same palette. We spent some good money on those outfits, too. Well, Hank, we have spent a lot of good money on this wedding. And the least we could ask is for some nice photographs from Maeve Deering's society page. This is our legacy. Hmm. Your legacy. There have been towns and weddings at this hotel for over a hundred years. And they have all been premier events on the social calendar. Ah, uh, well, I hate to break it to you, but just in case you forgot, weddings usually involve two families. I told you this was gonna happen, V. All they care about is money and appearances. No, 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 dear Hank. We believe in tradition and decorum. Well, our daughter has decorum <laughs> flying out of her butt. <sighs> Let's all take a minute, shall we? <laughs> Thanks, Paige. I'm sure our family will be fine. It's not like there's an actual dress code. <laughs> Are you sure about that, honey? 
You just try to kick me out of my own daughter's wedding. I would advise you not to start an argument you can't finish. Decorum. The important thing is that William and Amber are happy. <laughs> That's for you. You can read, right? I can read. Okay. These pictures are in Swedish. So, this is where all the creative magic happens, huh? Hi, Dad. How you doing? Hey, Jimmy. What can we do for you? Well, actually, I, uh, I just came to apologize. Huh. Again. Apologize for what? I should have been here for your mother's funeral. I deeply regret I couldn't come. Couldn't or you wouldn't. There was no way I could have made it. Okay, well, thanks for stopping by, but I only have Dan for an hour, and we really need to get this cabinet built. So. All right, I'll get out of your hair. It's just that I'm on my way to the airport, so. Are you leaving? Already? You say goodbye to Gabby and Sophie? We spent the whole morning with them. Come over to Christopher's bakery, we ate cake for breakfast. You're their favorite person in the whole world right now. Good old-fashioned bribery. All right. Well, don't be a stranger, son. I'd love it if we talked more. Uh, I've just got a lot going on with me right now, and Paige and Hannah and I are trying to get the business back on track, and I'm just really at my quota for family at the moment. Well, you know where to find me. Okay. Um, what do we do? Right here. Hey, Dad. Hey, do you at the office? I just got in. I wanted to say goodbye to you. I have to head back now. I thought you were staying till Sunday. So did I. I got a call back for an audition, and my agent says, well, you know how it goes. It's okay. I get it. I'll let James and Hannah know. You know, I did try to say goodbye to James. Dad, he's trying. It's hard for him. It's hard for all of us. Let's just keep trying, all right? That's what Mom wanted. Yeah, I know what your mother wanted. I've been paying for it ever since. What's that supposed to mean? Sorry, nothing. I'm just tired. I'll get some sleep on the plane. I'm so proud of you. You know that, right? Thanks, Dad. I love you. Love you, too. What about here? Yeah. Millions of people watch his, like, ridiculous soap opera where he plays this perfect patriarch, and in real life? I know you're angry, James, and I don't blame you, but it does seem like he's trying to reach out. You know, I'm sure Mom's death just hit him. Everyone grieves in their own way. He didn't come to the funeral. Why are you, why are you sticking up for no, him? No, I, I am not, okay? It's just, take it from someone who has a terrible relationship with his father. If you can break the pattern now, you should do it. He never said, hey, James, Come out to L.A. and hang out. Maybe your mother didn't let him. Maybe she might not have wanted that kind of instability for you. Fine. But then why didn't he try? You know, why didn't he want to try? I don't know. But I'm sorry. Hi, Paige. Oh, William. Hey. Um, I came early because I need you to contain Nav. I mean, he doesn't understand the pressure that I'm under for my family, and he's turning Amber against me. Have you tried talking with her? Yeah, yeah, I tried, but I mean, I'm at a loss. And Amber loves the city. She hasn't lived in Spring Hill for years, but now she and Nav seem to want the whole wedding covered in leather and rhinestones. I mean, next thing you know, she'll want big um, hair and line dancing. Well, Not a good look. <clears throat> Amber, I'm 
sorry. You know what, William? Blind dancing is fun. People love it. Amber, wait. Oh, just leave me alone. Yeah, relax. Both of you. To your father. Oh. <laughs> For embarrassing us enough to finally go out on our first official date. Like, he's so embarrassing. <laughs> At least now I get to ask you about your big Africa trip. I took some really cool photos, you wanna see? Yeah. There was this one ape, beautiful. I kept taking photos of him. I wanna show you this one. Why is my phone? Sorry, my phone is, is rebooting right now. Of course. I'll, I'll show you another time, sorry. So, the Congo. Yes, the Congo. Well, for a while, I was volunteering at this chimpanzee sanctuary. These little chimpanzees would just grab onto. And then there was these big ones that were just swinging through the trees. Always, everywhere you look, just like swinging, swinging. Oh, my God. Wow, okay, that's cold. That's, that's... Oh! <gasps> okay. Um... I am such a klutz. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. I'm, 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 I'm wine-proof. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm, yeah, no, I'm just gonna go to the, to the restroom. Come in peace. We'll have one of those. Sure thing. <sighs> to you and Amber. I'd say that's a little up in the air right now. Look, I'm sorry. Even I can see how much you love each other. I got carried away with my mission. What mission? My family wanted to make sure that the wedding wouldn't be all about the groom's side. <laughs> oh. uh, mission accomplished. Your mother's a force to be reckoned with. Mm. My mother needs a drink. <laughs> Listen, I know it's hard not to conform to family tradition. Believe me, nothing about me conformed to my parents' ideas of what they thought a boy should be. They bought me a football when I was four years old. I put it in a dress and pushed it around in my little sister's doll stroller. Must be nice to know who you are, though. With my parents, it was Polo. Get back on the horse, William. You must make the team. To chase a ball around on horseback. <clears throat> wow. That is really hard to relate to. <laughs> <sighs> I begged to be on the rowing team, but Townsends have been on Ivy League polo teams for generations. When I'm in a rowing boat in the early morning, it's so peaceful. That's how Amber makes me feel. Peaceful. And now I've blown it. No way. You tell her what you just told me and you'll win her back in a second. Violet and Hank are ready to call a truce. You just need to get your mom to back down a little. I mean, she's worse than I am. Talk to her. <clears throat> but I need another drink first. Bartender! Coming up. <clears throat> Hi. Mm. Okay, Mom. Question. Whose wedding is this? No, no, that's that's a serious question. Hey, everything okay over here? I didn't say tradition isn't important. You're not listening. No, I've listened enough, okay? Now you're... You're gonna listen to me. Is this your idea? No. You're breaking up Mrs. Townsend. He'll call you later. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get you home. <laughs> 
or that I overheard you? I'm sorry, I'm a fool. This whole week has just gotten so out of control. William, you're a totally different person this week. Not at all the man I fell in love with. I'm just having trouble with this wedding. I know, okay, I know. I've been an idiot, but... My whole life, I have argued with my parents over their soul-crushing expectations, and I just, they wore me down. I never wanted to become them. Why didn't you tell me that? Because I didn't want you to have to deal with it. You know, I wanted to keep it all separate, but marriage isn't about separation. It's about bringing two people together. I finally got through to my mother. She finally understands how important this is for us. You talked to your mother? Yeah, yeah. Nav and I were drinking at the bar. <laughs> okay, and... now you're messing with me. <laughs> no, no, actually, we... I mean, he bought the drinks, I think, and uh, we talked, and he's a decent guy. Yeah, he is. I love you. What if you just love one side of me? No. No, I love all of you. I love the Spring Hill girl, Uptown Amber. I love my college sweetheart that I fell in love with. I love you too, Lily. You say we inject some sass into this East Coast wedding. Oh, I have two words for you. Line dancing. Give me all your love, I'll take it. Put your hand in mine, we'll make it. And you can have my heart on one condition. You don't break it. Give me all your love, don't take it. Leave your fears behind, we'll make it. And you can have my heart on one condition. You don't break it. So, Mrs. Townsend called. She wanted to change some of the appetizers. Oh, that's weird. I thought she knew that requests go through the office. I'll call her and loop back to you. How's the groom's cake? Oh, better today. I really like Nav's improvements. Good, good. I'm really sorry that our date was so bad. It was all my fault. I spilled wine all over you. And then I, I left without even saying good night. I do admit, I've had better evenings. Do over? No, no, no. That wasn't for you. <laughs> this flower order's wrong. Right. No, I, I should I should probably let you go. I'll call you later. Yeah. Let's chat later for sure. Alright, so later then. Bye. Bye, Hannah. Jimmy, could you put that thing away for just a minute? It came a long way to talk to you face to face. <laughs> Sorry. To lie to the kids, tell them I was going to a trunk show for a couple of days. 
So, what news could be so big that you need to see me in person? Hmm? You're getting married again, aren't you? That's what my assistant seems to think. I'm not well, Jimmy. What's the matter? You got the flu or something? No, it's a little more serious than that. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm so sorry. What do you need me to do? Anything. You need help paying for the treatment, just name it. Anything. The treatments haven't been very successful. The truth is, I have been planning my funeral. What are you saying? I think that everybody should be invited to wear white because that's more me. I don't want a room full of gloomy guests, so... This isn't easy. Um, the thing is, Jimmy, uh, I've been giving it a lot of thought and I would rather that you didn't come. Not come to your funeral? What the hell are you talking about? Just... In peace, and I think that your celebrity will just cause stress. If you could do this for me, it would be the greatest gift. Fine, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, you can sit right there. Hannah, can you make sure all the guests are seated? Yes, of course. James, is our bride ready to walk down the aisle? Just final touches and we can cue the music in one minute. Copy that. We just poof this flower and settle the necklace. Oh. You're the perfect bride. I love you so much. Don't make me cry, my mascara. Now let's not make this about you. Thank you for joining us on this blessed day. And a special thanks to the folks who've traveled to be here for William and Amber. Do I sense peace in the valley? William, you are the most sensitive, compassionate human being I've ever known. Your smile and laughter are gifts to my spirit. You're the symphony to my steel guitar. And I love you with all my heart. Amber, you are the peace my soul has always been seeking. In my heart, you are the warmth of the sun and the calm of the water. You are the better part of everything I know. And I promise to love you every morning, noon, and night. I take you, William, to be my lawful wedded husband, to love, honor, and cherish forevermore. And I take you, Amber, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to love, honor, and cherish forevermore. you husband and wife. You may share a kiss.
it's a better fit, don't you think? I love it. Thanks, Nick. May you and Amber have lasting peace and love together. Get that, Amber. Oh, come on. Get <laughs> come on, go dance. Lead the way. Oh, look at Upper East Side Hoot Nanny. Who? My feet are killing me. What else can we do, Peach? I think that's it. Thank you. Hi. Hi, uh, James. Dad said you gave him the cold shoulder when he left. Did he also tell you about Hannah's catastrophe of a first date? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Answer the first question. James. He's making an effort. He apologized. Mom would have wanted him to be a part of our lives. Why didn't she leave us some note or message about that? She planned everything else. I, I don't know. Maybe she wanted us to find our way back to him on our own. Look, I, I like the planning she left us, all the little breadcrumbs. I'm sorry, I, it's late. I shouldn't have brought this up. Get out of here, guys. Night. from this storm. Paige, my eldest, I am so proud of you. <laughs> Pretty soon, I'm not going to be with you anymore. But James and Hannah, they still need support. So you can see that they're struggling like I do, right? So you are going to need to be the new matriarch of the family. One that brings everyone together. And as someone who has done that for many years, it is not always easy getting the Clarksons moving in the right direction. <laughs> you might need some help from your dad. Not that he isn't a little directionally challenged. He's a good man. And there is a lot of him in the three of you. And you and James and Hannah, you're going to have to each forgive him in your own way because his intentions are good. There's a lot of sides to the story. All for love and love for all. Right, sweets? Mm -hmm.